There's a huge variety of online learning platforms such as Kajabi, Teachable and Thinkific that you can load your courses up onto. But why would I choose Thinkific? Well, Thinkific has been a great choice for me. There are many key reasons why I prefer to use Thinkific for my own courses. So my intention for this video is to show you through some of these key reasons because you just might be like me. You're looking for a platform that can host your course or a number of different courses, but you just don't know which one to choose. So hopefully this information will help you out and give you some guidance about what might or may not work right for you with Thinkific. So I'm going to actually go into my own dashboard, my own um, site for Thinkific, show you around, show you how easy it is to upload your courses, and therefore this might make your decision a little bit easier. So let's get into the uh, video now. So this is my main dashboard. It'll give you some information about the revenue coming in over a certain period of time. So you might have that to like a certain year or the whole length of time. So that will help you out. Also, you've got the different courses. I'll show you all of my courses soon. But what you need to do is you go to Manage Learning Content. If I went to Courses, this would be where you would um, host your courses. And if you want to create a new one, you just click this button here. What I'll do is show you to the Thinkific website to start with. We'll come back and I'll just show you how easy it is to add a new course and to start up the process so you can use Thinkific to host your different courses that you want. So let's go to the Thinkific website. On here, it's just got information about the way that you can set up your site. So you're picking templates, creating courses, and it's got information about building your business, there's a heap of information. If you scroll through, you'll be able to see how it works. If we go up to the different pricing structures that are in place for Thinkific, no matter how many courses you have, you have the one payment structure. And I'll go through why I like Thinkific during this presentation, but it does have a free trial for the first 30 days, which there'll be a link in the description for that 30 days. You've got the basic, then you've got the most popular, that's the one I currently use, and that just allows me to load up as many courses as I want and get the key features that I need. And then you've also got the Premiere one as well, uh, which gives you all these additional features that might be suitable to what you want to do. So we'll go off this now. We'll go back to the main presentation first about why I like Thinkific as the platform. Then what we'll do is go back to my dashboard and I'll... Um, load up some information or show you how to create a course because it is just so simple to use. So let me go to the main presentation. So why do I choose Thinkific? Well, let me give you a quick overview of the platform and that might help you out with making your own choice, whether it is the right platform for you. So for me, the easeability to be able to upload my lessons for my course was going to be one of those critical components I wanted to tick off. I've had other platforms that it's just been a bit harder to navigate through. But like a few different platforms, software platforms that I use, I need to have them so they're nice and easy. I'm not the most technical savvy person. So when I choose different platforms, they need to be easy for me to be able to use. And if I was to try and teach someone else, I want them to be easy for me to teach as well. So I just can easily go on to uh, the course creation component of it add the lessons, and then just save them on there along with any different documents that I want. And again, I'll show you this uh, at near the end of this video so you can easily see how easy it is to upload the lessons to Thinkific. Secondly, the interface needs to be very easy. And when I create the courses, I want to be able to upload the different lessons. I want to be able to set the course structure. I want to have payment terms that are nice and easy to follow. I want to be able to create a landing page that's nice and simple. So it ticks all these boxes. And again, you'll see how easy it is when I create a mock course as part of this video, and it will show you how easy it is. And that, again, is why the interface, the main body of the website, where you're getting your courses hosted, needs to be nice and simple to work through and to navigate through.
Another key benefit of Thinkific is that it manages the course payments. So if you have a student that goes on and purchases your course, well, Thinkific will manage that payment either through PayPal or even Stripe for credit card payments. There are different options you can use. There's one-off payments, there's part payments, there's subscription models you can use with Thinkific. So it covers all of those areas. So as you grow as a course creator, it gives you a lot more flexibility with what you can choose to help you grow and to scale your course, um, your course business or your educational uh, business. And they're just critical things that I wanted to make sure that were available as my business grew as well. So that was another key point, managing the payments for me and me not having to worry about that element. So out of the different kinds of platforms that are available, there are different pricing structures. Some of them will give you a short free trial and then you go into the payment plan. Some give you a longer free trial, but then the monthly payment plan is more expensive. Some um, have different add-on features, which then starts to really add up in costs. So I found that Thinkific was the most cost efficient for me. It's given me an option of either doing monthly payments, which I've normally started for about the first three to four months to make sure the platform's right for me. And then I can convert into an annual payment. Therefore, there's a heavier discount uh, to the monthly payments. You can also um, organize for uh, the subscription models that are available through the, the, the Thinkific platform. So you can decide what's best for you. Do you want it to be an annual payment or do you want like a monthly subscription payment that you organize? So that choice is available. And for 79 US dollars for what I pay per month, it hosts all my courses and I can continue to add to them. It's unlimited students and it also will manage my payments. The extra uh, payment plan that I've moved to with the 79 US dollars includes uh, having Stripe as a payment option and that allows people that may not have a PayPal account to use Stripe for processing credit card payments. And if a student is uh, if a payment fails, then Stripe will continue to follow that up. If you have a subscription-based model for your courses and there's a failure in payment, then again, um, Stripe will continue to follow that up. You don't need to do that. So that's another benefit as well. So before I take you to my platform and show you how to load up a course and how easy it is, I'll just give you a quick overview of some of the key points. So Number one, it was very simple to add content uh, to the platform. The interface keeps things very simple for me. It's very affordable. Having um, that payment plan option is critical for me because it allows me to um, scale up if I need to or pull back. It uh, manages your revenue for you. And then it can also integrate your email marketing, for example, through ConvertKit, who I use. I can have people that sign up as a student on Thinkific through one of my courses, and therefore it will integrate through ConvertKit to have um, contact details go to ConvertKit. So then they're part of my subscription base for newsletters or broadcasts or anything like that I do as well. So that's another benefit of the Thinkific platform. Now, the other major thing is there is a 30 day free trial, which uh, Thinkific op offer. Now there is a QR code, you can scan that QR code and that will take you to it or you can check out the links in the description below. But let's get onto my dashboard now. Um, I'm gonna show you how to upload a course, how easy it is, and some of the other key features of Thinkific that might make it the right platform for you. So I'm back onto my platform, and I've got my five courses here. But let's just do a mock YouTube uh, course. So what I need to do is go to new course just here, the button here, because you can choose different memberships and bundles. Once you've got a number of different courses there, you can choose for that option. But let's just go to new course. Then what we need to do is choose one of these options. So I normally choose blank, but you can choose pre-sale, mini course, flagship course, webinar, or membership resource library. I'm just gonna go back up to this one and choose blank. Let's just call it the YouTube course
preview. Okay, that's the name of it. We can change that any other time we want. We just go create course. Now it'll take us to the main dashboard where we can start uploading our content. So it starts with the curriculum here. All we need to do is go down to add chapter and that starts the process for us. There is a bulk importer. We can in, uh, import a number of different uh, files if you want to. And you can do, you, we'll go through the settings in a moment. So if we go to curriculum, it says let's build the course. So you just go to um, add chapter or you just go straight to the new chapter here. So we can click here, chapter name, let's call it introduce, introduction to course. Then you can do like a promo video there, for example. So I'm going to go add lesson and just go OK. And we do video. Let's just call it uh, welcome to course outline. So I'm just going to use videos from another course that I've created recently. What we're going to do is go select file. I might go to lessons. It's going to promotion video. Then what that does is it uploads the video. So I'll just pause it for a moment. It shouldn't take too long to get to that point. And so the first lesson is loaded up. And if we want to, we can type something here. This is the introduction to the course. And then you can put whatever you want to on there. Then you can also add download. So if you had any PDF documents, any activity sheets, whatever you want to, you can add those there as well. Select the file and you can add that to your course content. You can also make this a free preview lesson. So when you create your course, if you want people to see the first three to four lessons to get a feel for what that course is like, you simply tick that box there or you can make it a prerequisite. They have to watch that before they move on. So there are different things here that you can use. Now, if we wanted to add another lesson to that chapter, then all we need to do is go add lesson. Just go, uh, okay. And then you can start to work through it. So you can add this as well. Now, if you want to change any of the chapter names, you can do that and just save it. Um, so all you need to do for each of these is keep going through uh, the different lessons that you have, keep adding the different chapters, and it's so, so simple to do. What I might do is show you a course I've already created and uploaded, so you can see how easy I've been able to do it and what I've been able to add. So let me jump onto that course now. And this is a fully loaded course, so this is Mastering Habit Development. So if you want to, you can add the details there as you're scrolling down. You can move lessons around, so you can move that one to there if you wanted to. You can flip them in positions, and you've got all your different headings which you put on there all the way down to the bottom. And then you've got your settings here as well. So if you wanted to, you go to settings and you put the name of your course. You've got the URL, who the instructor is, so that's an area you can pre-fill in. Course image and description, you can upload the image there. You can put the course description details in. So you just keep moving through. You can do what they call a drip schedule. So it slowly feeds the course content to some to a student. You've got the pricing as well. So you've got a one-time price where you can do a subscription or membership model. So you can do additional pricing as well. Then you've got um, publish and you can go and you can do publish and you can save it as well. So what I'm going to do now is go back to that original course. So we click here, just back to edit it. And I'll just show you how you can easily create a course image. So you go to course image and description, upload, and I've just created a pretend mock-up file. So what I'll do is go here. And actually, before I do that, it tells you the size 760 by 420 pixels. So upload. Here's the example. Upload. Upload it. And then that'll be right to go. That'll be that'll set the course image for us. And then you can also include include the course description information as well. You've got the course player appearance. 
course progress and you just keep working through all these different um, uh, features that are, make it so easy to upload and then you simply go publish but one of the main things that you want to do is go to build landing page and that will help you to create the page that you end up seeing or a student ends up seeing when they're doing the course. And so all we do is go build landing page and then you start to add your details. So if you wanted to you go theme settings, you've got styles you can choose from or you go to the page and you can choose the header. So that's the main banner header here. You can do different logos, style alignments. I'm not much of a designer, but I've found this really easy to navigate through. And that's why I've chosen Thinkific for my course platforms. It's just very, very easy to use. So I'd highly recommend it. If it's something that you think will be beneficial to your courses and using them for hosting your courses from now and you know, for many, many years to come. This is so easy to navigate through and to use. Well, I do hope that that video and then information's helped you to give some guidance to you about what the Thinkific platform is like as a course creator, how it hosts your courses, how easy it is to upload those courses as well. Now, I have provided a link below which includes a 30-day free trial to use Thinkific to see if it's right for you. Now, it is an affiliate link, which means that I do receive a small commission. You don't pay any more at all for using that link, but I would uh, appreciate it if you were to use that link at all. So thank you very much for watching this video. I do love using Thinkific. It's been a really, really good platform for me. I'll continue to use it. It's been great at hosting my courses and on a platform I do trust is going to look after my course content. So thanks again and I look forward to uh, providing more content in the future.